Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Hope you're well wherever you are. My name is Donon and I've been wanting to do a food video for a long time and I haven't had the time to do it so I thought this was the best time to do the video. Today I'll be uh, mainly focusing on a Bangladeshi item. It's a very common item, very simple to cook and because it's Pohela Boishagi, it means the new year and it's my birthday and in Bangladesh Boishagi is celebrated with the uh, fish which is the king of fishes it's called Hilcha Ilish it's from the Meghna rivers in Bangladesh so it's very tasty slightly bony as well slowly I will focus on other areas I'll dab into other areas but mainly I'll start off with Bangladeshi dishes I hope you like it try my menus let me know uh, put your comments in your feedback in but don't forget to subscribe let's get going let's go so I've got the Ilish fish here, all washed and clean, slightly dried, as you can see. And now I'm going to add the spices. And mainly the spices are very simple. It's uh, what you desire, salt, chili, all that is up to you. So I'll start adding the spices. First of all, the salt. So this is a teaspoon salt. So I've got two teaspoons of salt, holod. And then I've got jeera for fragrance. Mustard oil. So oil just to marinate and leave it for about half an hour. So you can see I put all the spices in and I'm just going to mix the item. And, and in the meantime, when, I, when this is marinating, I'll just prepare the uh, alu borta, which also um, we have it with this item. The spices, the oil, everything has gone in deeply. So when you taste it, you can taste everything. So have a look. And now it's time to fry. So in the meantime, while we're waiting the, for the fish to marinate, I've just put some potatoes, just microwave some potatoes. And um, so I'll just show you how to make this. This is very easy as well. It just takes literally two minutes. And uh, it, um, it, you will usually have it with the fish item. So I'm just gonna break the potatoes into um, pieces, slightly mash it up. So, and then add the ingredients. First of all, I got some red onions and finely chopped some red onions. So I'm just gonna make the onions slightly softer. I don't want them to be hard on the potato. So I'm just gonna soften this up a bit as I go along and keep adding the ad other ingredients. Then it's going to be the coriander leaves. Just a pinch of salt. And then this is some dried chili, some flakes. You can add green chilies as well. And then at the end, I'll add a bit of oil. This is mustard oil. I got this from Bangladesh. It's very fragranced. So you only need a hint. So I'm just gonna change them into small bowls and get it ready for the fish item. This is a very common item and it's tasty. You can have it with anything, rice, roti, however, but today everyone's gonna have it with rice. As you can see, I've taken a non-stick pan, one tablespoon of mustard oil. I'm just gonna wait till the pan is hot. So I'm gonna put the fish in slowly, slowly. And then leave this for a few minutes. Let it cook for about a good 10 minutes. And I'm just going to turn them over slowly, slowly. Put the fire down a bit. And let the other side cook for a few minutes. Very dirty touch. 
more golden crispy it is, the fish tastes better. The flavour comes out better. And we're just going to give this another 10 minutes on the other side as well. Give that another 10 minutes. As you can see, the fish has gone um, golden colour and it's become crispy. So I'll take all the fish off the pan, one by one. It's very delicate. As I said earlier, it's bony, so we just have to work on it very slowly. And lastly, on the same pan, red chilies. So I'll just put that in. Just a few minutes on the pan, should be fine. So now the chilies are done, all crispy, nice and crispy. The fish is fried. Now we take both of them for plating. Okay, so I've done with the chilies, fried them. You can see they're very crispy and tasty. And then I've got the fish here, which I fried. I've got the potato, the aloo burta. And then I've got some fried chilies, which I, which I did earlier on with some green chilies mixed and some plain fried chilies. And then I've got some salad, just some cucumber, just to green it up and some coriander leaves. I'm going to position the fish according to its size. And then lastly, we'll do the tail at the end. And then I'm going to sprinkle some fried onions and green chilies that I did. Fried onions as well. Cucumber. Just for decoration. And then put the balls as well in between. And then the chilies that we fried earlier on, so just put them in the middle. So it looks nice and pretty. Okay, and that's it, it's done. So there, my final fish. Pohela boishagi fish. And you can have this with rice, just simply base, maybe um, cook. Basmati rice and that's it. This is the final dish I've prepared. It took about one and a half hours to prepare. So please um, let me know how you find it and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and put in your comments and reviews. Thank you very much.